Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're gonna to check it out some new reference images in Mid Journey 4. I also collected a number of Mid Journey tutorials with advanced prompts like these ones in the examples. You can find them on my YouTube members only channel where you can click the join button and select secret content to unlock all the premium videos. First, I'm going to show you how it works with the prompts and some of the reference images. And then I'm going to show you how to upload your image as well. And the first model has more distinctive features and a different facial structure. As you can see, she has a longer nose, sharp eyes, curly hair, and the whole picture has a specific atmosphere to it. So the first one is with caricature. I tested this prompt more in depth, but Mid Journey keeps bringing more younger models out of the reference image. In this example, it looks like a 15 years old girl. And then we got like manga anime style. It kept some of the features, mostly the hair and the atmosphere of the photo is also similar. And then we got like painting. It kept the hair. Second, third and fourth example, the model is kind of different. Then we got like dra line drawing, kind of has like different characters in here. And then we got like plasticity. It made a caricature out of it, but it looks exactly like the model. You can see the distance between the eyes the same way here. It made it more distant. Her nose is in the same exact style as here in the example. And the mouth is the same. The hair is perfect. So this one is same exact facial structure and the facial characteristics are pretty much the same. Then we got like Pixar. This also came out like really, really good. You can see the nose. You got like longer straight nose. That is the same exact example. You got like big distinctive eyes, the distance in between the eyes. The hair also is the same. Now I'm gonna show you how you can upload and customize your images. All you need to do is click on this little plus, click on upload file, select the model and type in enter. It's gonna upload the image, click on it, right click, copy link, type in slash imagine, space control V, space, and here you can add the prompts. I can type in cyberpunk. And there you go. Oh my God, this looks pretty bad actually. <laughs> now we got also this guy. I wanted to see how it's gonna look. We get the caricature. I don't know what is going on here. It tried to add long hair. I don't know why. It made him really young with puppy eyes. I think the AI got confused because, because in the example, the model has like a rim lights and it's basically reflecting in his eyes. So probably that's why the AI is making these really shiny eyes also. Then we got manga anime again with long hair. Then we got like painting. AI tries to make him like uh, kind of girly then we got like line drawing same thing i don't know what is going on plasticine i think the third one looks perfectly the same you know in a caricature kind of style and the first one the second one is like perfect old representation of this guy then we got like pixar i think this is brilliant third one especially then we got old i also added comic book style which makes it with long hair again and not but least, we have this guy. Again, it made like a young 15 year old kid. Here in this example, it tried to change the sunglasses, but also the glasses are kind of melting. So the AI usually it makes the glasses like kind of melty looking, can't get it perfect. We got the anime style, again, different glasses. Then we got painting, we got like line drawing, pretty good. Pixar, check out the second one. It's the same exact representation. Old, it almost made like an old grandma out of that, especially in the second one. Then we got Cyberpunk. This came out really cool. As you can see, the Cyberpunk prompt is gonna make the glass perfect, which is like really uncommon. And here we got like Cyberpunk, Neon, SRGB, Octane, Render, Dramatic. Looks really good. Changed the whole environment, comic book style. So the final conclusion is sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You need to test it out, switch up the prompts, switch up the models and yeah, see what's going to happen and make sure to have a really good quality photo. It's not 100% that you're going to get like a really good results. So you also probably going to need to test like multiple images. Mainly this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.